the back lot of Universal Studios in Los Angeles. Soundstage 12, where dancers, camera crews, comedian Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson, and supermodel Iman have all gathered for the shooting of Michael Jackson's song, Remember the Time. A short film, not a video, directed by John Singleton, best known for Boys in the Hood. Come on, let's do it once more. Once more, I don't need a... a again, quick. This is actually uh, probably the biggest production I've ever worked on. You know, I'm used to doing small films in, inside of you know, houses and neighborhoods, and, and this is the first time I've ever worked on a soundstage. It's kind of like I got every toy at my disposal. You know, if I want it and I feel it's going to look right, I just go and I tell somebody, I want this, you know, and if Michael wants it too, I get it. It all happens in ancient Egypt. The storyline is this. The queen of Egypt, Nefertiti, is bored played by Iman, the queen, and uh, she asked the pharaoh, uh, played by Eddie Murphy, if he could find some way to entertain her. But he decides to call in a couple of entertainers, so he has a, um, some, some people come, he has a juggler come, and he has a fire breather come, and the queen is still not satisfied. think that that I'm running and I'm a punk because because Iman didn't move from the bird. But it's two ways to react in a situation like that. You can run or be real still. And she's just being real still. But so she's as horrified as I am. You see she was raised in East Africa. She knows if the eagle go crazy be real still. I'm from Brooklyn so you run. <laughs> Remember the time is like my favorite track on track on the album. You know, there's a lot of good tracks, but it's like, you know, I really like it because it has a, a dance feel, but it's also kind of like a ballad too. It has kind of multi dimensions to it. Mike got a funky beat. Ooh, it's nice. I'm just excited to be here and have an opportunity to be on this video, or I should say, short movie. And, uh, uh, I mean, I'm like a little kid. I can't, what can I tell you? <laughs> you're going to be the, the announcer. You're going to be the person announcing to, to the Pharaoh Ramses all the performers and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Behold, great Pharaoh Ramses, I bring to you the stick man! One thing I really like about dancing, I'm doing some, here, I'm doing some um, kind of like Busby Berkeley kind of things. I've got stuff overhead and different angles, and I'm cutting on movement. A lot of people don't think about that. Most people, when they do uh, videos or short films or whatever, when they, when they shoot dance, all they do is they just they keep the camera going, and they don't, they don't choreograph for the camera. They don't choreograph dance for the camera. I got a friend of mine, uh, Fatima Robertson, to, to choreograph it, and she's worked a lot with Guy, and she she worked with Whitney Houston and some other people and stuff, and it's it's just like it's it's some real funky stuff, you know. What we did was took some um, hip hop moves, but made them technical, because Mike is very technical. We put some hip hop, which is the latest dance style right now. The best dance. And, and brought it all together. We've been working on this for around three weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks rehearsal and dress rehearsal and everything like that. And about eight hour, nine hour days. Yeah, pretty, pretty hectic. We're working with 25 plus Michael. 13 girls and 12 guys plus Michael. We both decide to dance because a lot of times when choreographers don't dance, they don't get the same respect, especially from dancers, because you're not doing the same thing. You're just saying, okay, do that and do this. But when they see you, you know, busting your butt, too, they give you more respect. And they work harder. Exactly. I need uh, some sandbags, some apple boxes to balance this. The 4x4 box on camera right. Bring that up. Okay, 
As a filmmaker, it's, it's like live, you know. I'm not limited by my imagination for once in my life because Michael was really not limited by his imagination. 